today I'm going to show you everything that I bought in May. I didn't do one of these videos last month because I simply just didn't buy anything in April. I somehow still had a very expensive month and accumulated a lot of stuff because it was my birthday, but I didn't buy anything, so I didn't make a video. On the first May Bank holiday, I went to Portsmouth for the day. I went abseiling down the Spinnaker Tower, which is like the big white tower that you see in the Portsmouth skyline. I think it's just under 100 metres that I abseiled, and it was so fun. I loved it so much. If you don't know Portsmouth very well, it's the next city over from Southampton, and it's got a lot of outlet shops, mostly for sort of higher-end brands. It's got like a lot of sports shops, and higher end fashion things. And my favorite shop of all is the Cadbury's outlet, which just sells reduced Cadbury's chocolate. It's great. In the Dr. Martin shop, these were sitting out on display at the front and I was just completely drawn to them. I think mostly because of the color and also kind of the fact that they look like the shoes I would wear when I was about five. I found out later on that they're actually from the kids range and they just go up to my size, which is a five. And they're only 20 pounds reduced from God knows how much because they're Dr. Martin's shoes. I really like them, but I don't like them on me. I think they look really weird. I didn't bother trying them on in the shop, mostly because I was lazy and also because I know that I'm a size five in Doc Martens. They do fit me, but I think it's just the shape of my feet don't look right in these kinds of sandals. So I'm not sure whether I'm keeping them or not. I might have to sell them on Depop or eBay or something. Even though 20 pounds is cheap for Doc Martens sandals, that's expensive for sandals that you're not actually gonna wear, so. I'm not sure. When I went to pay, I saw all of the laces sitting on the side and they were only three pounds. It's a lot of money for a long strip of material, but I always imagined that the like official Dr. Martens laces would be a lot more expensive than that. So I bought one, I guess this is a pair. I hope this is a pair, not just one lace. To be honest, it doesn't matter if it's only one lace because I just need to relace one of my boots. On this boot, the plastic bit at the end of the lace, the aglet has come off. I don't know where it's gone. Tiddles may have eaten it. It's very likely. The lace is starting to fray and it just needs relacing and I've been pulling it off for probably over two years. The only reason I know the word aglet is from watching Phineas and Ferb, so if anybody else also knows the word from there, not just me and my sister, then let me know. As I said, it was my birthday at the end of April and if you've got a paper chase card, then you get five pound credit to spend in store. So I got my five pound loaded onto my card and I just wandered in and was trying to find something to spend this free five pounds on. Nothing's really catching my eye in paper chase at the moment. Normally I cannot resist buying stuff that I don't need. Maybe I've just become boring in the fact that I've like, become too minimalist or something. None of it caught my eye, so it took me ages to decide on something that was both practical and that I actually liked. I eventually decided on this very pink, very sparkly passport holder, which is literally just a case to put your passport in. Nothing fancy at all, it's got two little, I don't know, pockets. On that side I've got my passport and here, gonna fall out, but it's my e-hit card. I don't really understand the design of this, because honestly I did think it would be more like a wallet with little pouches to put different cards in and stuff like that. You could put two passports in here, because that's the exact passport size. I wouldn't really trust this going abroad and keeping my e-hit card and stuff like that in a pouch which is way too big for it, so I'm not too sure about that. But it was free. Well, it wasn't free. I think originally it was around £7, so I paid around two pounds for it, which is very nice. And I do appreciate that it's very sparkly. I'm going away twice this summer. I'm going to New York with my mum and my sister. And I'm so excited just because Ugly Betty. The majority of my childhood was Ugly Betty. A lot of my worldviews are based on watching Ugly Betty and my sister and I just, we love it so much. We were talking jokingly a while ago about going to New York just to go to Ugly Betty locations. And then for my 21st birthday and her 18th birthday, my mum bought us tickets and I cried a lot. And yeah, I'm just so excited. Like, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, but I just got goosebumps talking about it. I am that excited. And then after that, me and my sister are going away with my dad. We're going to Crete and I don't think we've ever been abroad with him. I think actually we went once when my sister was literally a few weeks old. So I'm really excited for that. We're going for two whole weeks and it's just like a proper, beachy, relaxing, sunbathing and reading books holiday. After the last three years, I just need two weeks of lying on a beach and reading books. That sounds like absolute heaven. Even though the only purpose of this is just looking pretty and sparkly, I will actually get some use out of it this summer. So it's not a pointless purchase. Definitely not. Moving on to something equally as glittery and garish, I bought these sunglasses from Primark. I think they were two or three pounds and I love them. I mentioned in my last one of these videos how I find it so difficult to buy glasses because I've got such a small head that they all just look stupid on me. I went into Primark and I found these and they are quite big in terms of the fact that the style of frame is kind of big and oversized and supposed to be a bit over the top, 
but they don't kind of drown out my face, if that makes sense. I know they look completely ridiculous, but I kind of love it. It's just festival season. They're big, they're sparkly. To a lot of people, they're probably not even that out there. But to me and my kind of complex about having a small head, this is a lot, but I'm kind of enjoying it. They sit weirdly on my head, actually. Normally, the best thing about sunglasses for me is that I can put them on my head and pull my hair out of the way, but I feel like they just sit really high up. I don't know, but... We'll go with it anyway. So the last thing I bought in May was kind of unintentional. There's a shop in the Marlins in Southampton, which is like the smallest shopping centre. And it's upstairs and I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a market. It's got lots of different individual stalls within the shop. They have a lot of kind of more alternative people's things in there. So they've got a few different video game stores. They've got a comic book store. They've got one that sells secondhand vinyl. And they have this one which sells a really weird collection of incense and ornaments and patches. They've got all sorts of different patches. I don't know where they get them from, whether they're from local designers or whether they just kind of order them in bulk from the internet, but they're so cheap. All of their patches are £1.50 each, which I think is really good value because if you bought them on somewhere like Etsy, they'd be £5, maybe more, and they're the same kind of quality and they've also got like iron on stuff on the back, so it's nice and simple to just attach them to things. No sewing is needed, that's a lot of effort. I love the artwork style for a lot of patches, I just enjoy looking at them because they're just pleasing to the eye, I just enjoy it. And so I was kind of, I guess you could say window shopping, I was just looking at them, I wasn't intending to buy any of them. But Jacob wanted to buy a patch and they had, I think it was £5 minimum card payment, so I had to help them out and choose a patch for myself. The ones I got were this one, which says Craving Wilderness, and it kind of reminded me of like the USA National Parks, which I really want to go visit. And then this one, which says Stoked on Life, it's got a little wave and a palm tree. And this one reminded me of Hawaii, because they've got an obsession at the moment with learning to surf and going to Hawaii. I think one of them will probably end up going on a rucksack. I need a new one. My canken up there has got a hole in the bottom and it's on its way out so I'm probably just gonna get a cheap unbranded one and then stick this in the middle where the logo would normally go. I think that will look really cute. I'm gonna take these off now but that is everything that I bought last month. I know there wasn't that much there but I still think it was worth sharing with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're from Southampton actually go check out the shop which sells all the patches because I think they're really cool and yeah I will see you very soon. Bye.